Okay guys, so if you're watching this video, that means that we are out for a snow day. Um, and what we're going to do is go over your homework that was due today, um, which was the challenge portion of the 38.5 section. Um, the picture here shows us the topic, the, the problem that we were dealing with, which is the devastation in post-war Europe. Um, this right here is actually, you might think Germany, this is actually in London. Um, you know, so, so it's not just Germany that is facing this destruction, it's plenty of other countries as well. So after reading 38.5 uh, and, and reading the sections in the challenge portion, you had a couple of questions that you needed to address. The first question was, what were the conditions in Europe after World War II? The second one, why was the U.S. worried about these conditions? And what you should have as an answer for this first challenge question, what were the conditions in Europe after World War II, should get at just how bad things were. So some of the things that the book discusses, for example, was that there was no transportation or communication system left. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more here, just in case it's difficult to see in the video. That's a little better. There's no transportation or communication system left. But there were several other things that it talked about. Cities were largely in ruins. There was a lack of housing, schools, factories, etc. And disease was widespread. Long story short, conditions are bad. So that brings us to our second this all on the same page so it's a little bit easier to see. That brings us to our second question. Why was the U.S. so worried about these conditions? And what you should have for an answer there is something along the lines of our leaders feared that these conditions would lead people to want to accept communism. Or, you know, we were afraid that countries might turn to communism for help to get out of these conditions. things are really bad and the Soviet Union and communist countries are saying, hey, under communism the government will take care of these things, the government will provide these things that might seem like a good option. And so the U.S. leaders were worried that these conditions were not acceptable. So that brings us to the question of what should we do about it? Okay, now if we were in class, what we would do is we would look at this problem, look at the options like we have been, and I would put you guys in groups. Obviously not in class, we can't do that. So I'm gonna bring up our options, and then I want you guys just to think about it on your own while you're there at home. So, 
This says World War II left Europe devastated. Millions were dead, cities were destroyed, and homes were lost. Such destruction causes poverty and discontent, making the countries of Europe perfect breeding grounds for communist movements. Greece could only be the beginning. Right, remember we read about the communist rebellion in Greece. As foreign policy advisors, you must recommend how the United States should respond to the dire conditions in post-war Europe. So here are our choices. Option one, do nothing. We already spent a lot of help, or spent a lot, helping Europe during World War II. Option two, supply loans on a case-by-case -case basis to European countries that have been our longtime allies. Option three, generously fund any European country as long as the money is spent on goods made in the United States. Or option four, send military troops and advisors to be in charge of post-war rebuilding in devastated European countries. So I want you to think about those four options. You don't have to write anything down, but just think about those and which one you feel would be the best choice for the United States to do and why you think that one would be our best choice. Once you have done that, I want you to go ahead and knock out the response portion of 38.5. Read the remainder of 38.5 and answer the questions in your reading notes on the response portion to see what we actually did. When you're done with that, start the next video and we will take a look at what answers you might come up with.